All right, I am back and it's time to rank some more palettes. Let's jump into the video. Hey guys, this is Ashley. Welcome on back to my channel. So it is time for another palette ranking video. So welcome to Palette Ranking Volume 17. Oh boy, it's been a lot of volumes, okay? Um, and I'm like, oh, let me rank these palettes before like the next batch start rolling in, which they already have. I thought I was gonna get like a little reprieve with the January, but Blends Bunny and Adept Cosmetics said, eh, eh, eh. So let me introduce myself. If you are new to this channel, welcome. If you're only Bugatti, welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctorate in pharmacy and I love makeup. So that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup, but please just call me Ash or Ashley. And eyeshadow is my jam. It is one of my most favorite things to talk about here on my channel. So I only have four palettes. Yes, four palettes, but you know, in the makeup world, things move very quickly. So I like to do a palette ranking and sometimes the palette ranking just gives it away for me to kind of figure out what I like the best out the last couple of months of what I've tried or the last little batch of palettes I got, but it doesn't mean I definitely don't like it. And I'll let you know if I don't like it, but <laughs> you know, sometimes things just gotta go somewhere and this is a nice way to just kind of do it. So I only have four palettes, so we're not gonna be here very long. And we're gonna start off with this little bad boy right here. So coming in at number four is Divine Droid by St uh, Pat McGrath, and this is the Star Wars Collection Round Two. Now, <laughs> one of my subscribers, or one of my people, one of my girls on Instagram literally just said like, Divine Droid reminds me of the Easter palette. And I was just like, you know what? I can't unsee it. It does. It's, I mean, it is cute. The formula is really nice, but I can't unsee it now. Like I, I'm here with it. It, it. It's giving Easter. It's giving Easter. We got purple. We got a nice little blue. Now I do still feel like this palette does look like, you know, nocturnal Nirvana. We do have a couple shades here, here in here but they are a lot different so there's not the, quite the same and the formula is exceptionally nice okay i think these little palettes were kind of where it was at with the star wars collection you know there is a sticker on here but the sticker does feel flush to here and i like the little five pin quint style like it's cute i still perform like my whole little six pan thing i had to happen to just have this out but this is cute it's it's a little different you know what i mean but for me, I feel like the formula was really nice. Yes, it's nice and fun and colorful, but it wasn't as great as its companion palette that I was about to show. Now, it was three of these, but I only picked up two. So I felt like this shade was very light and ethereal. It could have had a little bit more base to it. And this purple shade is very nice. It's very vibrant, very punchy when you kind of blend it out, but then you lose some of that shine when you go ahead and put it on your eyes. But overall, it is a really nice solid palette. And like I said, it it gives Easter. I can't unsee it. <laughs> now this one, I feel like if that's giving Easter, this is giving like fall in all its glory. So this is Sif Seduction. And this is from the Star Wars uh, collection again. And this is with, you know, Pat McGrath, round two. Now this formula, baby. This formula is nice. This formula is very creamy. Like this is kind of like giving me, I don't know. It's it's giving me a lot of shine. It's giving me some resemblance to like some indie shadows with a lot of the mica and especially this shade right here because it's so vibrant, so punchy. But then it also, it just gives me, you know, Mothership 4, Decadence, those shadows, but like kind of like a step up. And I love the Decadence shadows. That Decadence formula, those satin shimmer, I like everything. You can use this matte. So what is really nice, even with the other palette, like you don't need a matte to complete the look. You're going to be able to blend it out. This shade right here is a beautiful, just like, you know, like a smoky look. I'm like, I can't get it out. We have this bronze and this green right here. The green is really, really pretty. The two champagne shades. If I was to choose, I would like this champagne shade over this one. I still wish he would stop giving us two shades that kind of 
look alike i know she probably has like in her mind like one is more of a topper more ethereal and the other one is more like a more punchier has a base color but honestly we don't need both okay especially when she gives it to us in the quad so like the impact is like lessened since there's a fourth shade and it's five shades versus her quads when she does that but i still don't care for that but overall the formula on this baby right here is gorgeous okay so she definitely won with this one right here sif seduction is where is that now coming in at number two is a new brand like i've tried a couple of their single shadows but when i saw this palette i was like yes yes like i just need it and it was a pre-order and the pre-order wasn't that long i want to say i ordered this in october i got it by december i got it like the week of coming up of christmas and this is the sea witch palette by electrum cosmetics so electrum cosmetics is a very small indie brand i believe she lives in ohio she was a makeup artist and she just kind of started creating her own makeup products and these multi-chromes are gorgeous so the palette is a little bit more expensive but i don't mind that because you're getting all multi-chromes in a holographic shade <laughs> so this is a holographic shade right here do you see this purple with the green that is like my life y'all know i love a good barney vibe type of eyeshadow the purple and the green i'm like all about it love it for sure every one of the shadows in here is top quality when it comes to the shimmer shadows you don't get that much fallout they are very smooth they're very opaque you get a lot of shine and opulence on the eyes and i really appreciate that now i did use a glitter glue to help secure these shades but that's typically that's what i would do with any of my multi-chromes that's what i do with what i have on right now which is a terra moon shadow and the mattes blend out so well so these mattes definitely look intimidating you got orchids and you got plums and you have seafoam green and teal and turquoise and blue and you're like that's a lot going on in a mat it is but they blend out very nicely they have a little bit of a satin sheen to them so you're able to kind of put them on blend them out very easily and build up the look or you can kind of share it out which is nice now if like you're like trying to figure out how can you wear this palette without doing all the mats sometimes i wore this to work because i was like oh I want to wear my little holographic shade you know what I mean so I literally just kind of put like more of a brown shade right here like a brown shade in my crease I went in right here with this particular shade that was siren song in the outer V and popped this on it was gorgeous really really beautiful so you definitely can you put a little bronzer with these two oh my gosh even if you're just like going someplace and you're, you're like you want to wear it because sometimes I'm like I just think about certain shades in my palettes and I'm like I want to wear that again but I just necessarily it's not like oh I want to pair this with this but I have a lot of fun matching up my palettes all the time I like have a lot of fun wearing the complete palette and I have a lot of fun just kind of like breaking it up and getting a lot of use out of my makeup collection so these shades in here are just top quality and i know she actually told me that she was scared to like reformulate right before this launch but i'm very glad that she did because those multi-chromes are beautiful i just love how opaque and how smooth they go on it's just like it's what you see is what you get because sometimes when you get these shadows it's like well i thought it was gonna be like all that and it just really was lackluster you know now coming in at number one oh my gosh when i tell you i love this palette i love this palette and it's the clarity cosmetics croc palette we have been inseparable okay <laughs> like i have been wearing this palette to death i let's see i've worn it in a couple of videos i know i wore it in a video i did a three looks on this video i've worn it to work at least about four or five times like the very next day when i got this palette i was like i'm wearing it it is like a taupey green dream i mean honestly do you see this color story like this mat this mat these brown taupey greenish mats they have stolen my heart and the shimmers in this palette are phenomenal there's only one shimmer that's like flaky but i don't mind it it's this one right here which is called crocodile tears because it is special like as you can see right here 
like it kind of looks silver but it also when I turn it back it flips gold so it's definitely silver or gold depending on what you're pairing it with like if you're putting it with this it's definitely gonna look more gold you're pairing it with this it's definitely gonna look more silver you could layer the two together oh my gosh it's so much blendability I just wish this one was a little bit more pigmented like it can have more punch to it but oh my gosh this shade goes on for days like you just need a little bit okay now so many people told me they were like i did not get my hands on this palette because this was a drop for black friday okay it was a black friday drop it's supposed to be limited edition like their last two limited edition palettes it was like y'all y'all really play yourself okay it was really like you know what you, you just let them hang out a little bit longer between apocalypse and this palette right here they have had some bangers and people have said that they haven't been able to get their hands on it and i get it because their palettes are a little bit more pricey i think this bad boy came in around 55 dollars, but this was the only thing i purchased on black friday to be honest so i was like that was it <laughs> got this i was like i'm done <laughs> shopping you know as far as makeup um i don't even think i really purchased too much anything but anywho it doesn't matter but this palette is coming back okay they're going to make it permanent they got so many requests so the owner literally posted on her instagram like maybe last week that this palette is going to be permanent so after they did the launch of this one and everybody got their palettes and they saw the demand they brought it back another time so it was up for pre-order and it was up for pre-order or just sold out of the pre-order when i actually did the video on this now it's going to be coming back it's not back yet but it will be coming back permanently basically after they probably fulfill this pre-order and they have some other launches but they also said it will probably be in their smaller size too because clarity said that they're going to be reducing their pan sizes and i'm like thank you now i'm sure you probably just weren't listening to me but i'm like thank you girl i got a lot of eyeshadow behind me okay and i just feel like also if you know about clarity cosmetics like you're entrenched in the makeup scene and you got a lot of makeup okay and don't nobody need these big old pan sizes okay <laughs> So I am glad that they're reducing their pan sizes. This will probably also help with the cost, you know, a little bit more cost effective, okay? And I, I just make exceptions for them because actually these big old plans, they give me some anxiety. Like Juvia's Place, when I had them big old plans, used to give me anxiety. But Juvia's Place is significantly cheaper than Clarity. And that's not a dig. It's just, it's just the facts. So very excited to announce that this little bad boy will be coming back right here because this, yes, like, whew, like one of my favorite palettes of the year, like still hanging around, still loving it right now. So those are the four palettes that I have tried out recently. You know, there are going to be some more in the works. If you're wondering what I'm wearing now, this is a combination of Blend Bunnies. Uh, the new, actually, this is the Laura palette. This palette was gifted to me. So beautiful. If she did not send this my way, I was definitely buying it. I love the Blends Money brand, so you will be seeing a video on this very soon. So I used the mattes, and then I had some new Terra Moons that finally got here from a pre-order of the, like the winter bundle. So made it do what it is so i did record this but it's going to be like a short and also like an instagram reel <laughs> so you can check that little tutorial out there but i hope you guys liked what i ranked here i think my lash is lifting but yep girl oh well, no it's not i think it's just the angle of the monitor <laughs> we're okay so leave me a comment down below give this video a big old thumbs up hit the notification bell so you know when i come out with another video which will be very soon and subscribe to my channel because you know i would love to have you here in my little makeup family we are growing <sighs> so with all of that being said you already know what time it is it is time for the chat dance chat dance hey 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 chat dance mm, mm, chat dance Hey, hey, change. Hey. All right, y'all, I'm done. <laughs> Bye.